In this day and age, we could all use a little extra cash. Well, I'm here to tell you how you can earn some cash and at the same time help keep your families and loved ones safe from criminals. Crime Stoppers offers cash rewards for the arrest and prosecution of the criminals you are about to see. How does Crime Stoppers work? First, you call the toll-free number seen here and report any information you have anonymously to the Crime Stoppers operator. You do not have to pay for the call and the best thing is this is anonymous. No one will know that you supplied the information that closed the case. Once you give Crime Stoppers the information, you'll be given a different 1-800 number to call back and check the status of the case you originally called about. You have to call the status line, which is also a free call, to find out if your information led to an arrest. If an arrest or conviction is made on someone you told Crime Stoppers about, you will receive instructions on how to collect your money. Basically, you will be given a code number. You use that number to receive your cash. With that number, your identity remains anonymous. Think about some of the things you hear and think about how you can turn that information into cash in your pocket. Thank you and thanks for those anonymous tips. The following four subjects are on Polk County's most wanted sexual predators and offenders list. Polk County Sheriff's detectives are seeking information about the theft of a credit card that occurred in Lakeland. Around 2 p.m. on Friday afternoon, October 25, 2013, an unknown person burglarized a vehicle in the South Lakeland area near Alamo Drive. Shortly thereafter, the suspect used the victim's stolen credit card at the Circle K located at Robson Road and North Florida Avenue. The suspect appears to be a white male driving the red pickup truck pictured here. Polk County Sheriff's Office detectives are asking for the public's help in a retail theft investigation. At 1.30 p.m. on Monday, November 4, 2013, a white female entered the Family Dollar Store located at 100 3rd Street East in Juanita, where she was observed concealing property inside a pink bag. When the suspect was confronted by store employees, she fled the area on foot. The suspect is described as being in her 20s with shoulder-length blonde hair. She wore a yellow t-shirt and gray pants. Polk County Sheriff's homicide detectives are conducting a death investigation in Lakeland after a man found human remains in the woods. Around 8.55 a.m. on Tuesday, September 17, 2013, a witness was looking for scrap metal on North Wabash Avenue in Lakeland between Memorial Boulevard and Crutchfield Road when he found a human skull and some bones. The witness called PCSO to report the remains. The scene is located in the woods east of North Wabash Avenue, slightly south of Crutchfield Road. Anyone with information about this incident is urged to call the number above for a possible reward. Polk County Sheriff's detectives are seeking a person of interest in the homicide of Devontae Lewis that occurred on Thursday, October 11, 2013. 35-year-old Taurus Terrell Moy, date of birth 524 of 78, has a warrant for his arrest for possession of a weapon by a convicted felon and is wanted for questioning in the above-mentioned homicide. Moy is described as a black male being 6 feet tall, weighing 218 pounds, and was just released from prison in May 2013 after serving 10 years for attempted second-degree murder and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. He has an extensive criminal history. He is to be considered armed and dangerous. Moy's last known address is 5634 Cherrywood Circle in Lakeland. He has tattoos on his back, Strom, and it was written on his left arm. Crazy TM WPG on his right arm. Bars, cry no more, and he has gold teeth. Polk County Sheriff's detectives are asking for the public's help in the business burglary investigation. Sometime between September 1st, 2013 and September 30th, 2013, an unknown suspect removed rescue equipment from the Volunteer Fire Department building located at 3801 Camp Lester Road in Lake Wales. The items taken include a Hearst Combo Tool, otherwise known as the Jaws of Life, a Hearst Hydraulic Ram, Hearst Cutting Tool, Halligan Tool, and an Axe. 
Polk County Sheriff's Office agricultural deputies are asking for the public's help in a grand theft investigation in which copper wire was taken from a communications tower. At approximately 5.20 p.m. on Tuesday, October 8, 2013, a white male on a small ATV entered the Hall Communications Radio Tower property located at 922 Cypress Parkway in Haines City. Once inside the site, the subject removed copper ground wires from all six anchor sites of the tower's anchor cables. The subject removed approximately 60 feet of insulated copper wire. Video surveillance captured an image of the suspect. The suspect is described as being a bald or having a shaved haircut with a pair of sunglasses pushed up on his head. He wore a dark blue tank top style shirt and long blue shorts. The Winter Haven Police Department is asking the public's help to find the person responsible for the shooting death of Tory James Smith on Easter Sunday, April 8, 2007. Tory was shot while walking back from a relative's home in the 200 block of Avenue T Northeast at approximately 2.47 a.m. The Winter Haven Police Department is asking for the public's help when identifying a killer. The suspect shown here gunned down Ralph Amaduri on September 10, 2011 behind Jesse's Bar in Winter Haven. The suspect is a black male in his early 20s and is approximately 5 foot 11 inches tall. He weighs between 165 to 170 pounds and was last seen wearing a black shirt and white shorts. On Tuesday, May 18, 2010, at 751 Avenue O Southwest, Sherry Kirkendall, a 38-year-old white female, was brutally murdered in her apartment. In addition to the $2,000 that Heartland Crime Stoppers has offered as a reward, the Winter Haven Police Department is offering an additional $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. The Winter Haven Police Department is asking for the public's help to find Christina Voltaire, a student at Kaiser University. Christina was last seen at her Brookshire apartment on Avenue K Southeast in Winter Haven on January 8, 2011.